and it's where the original trail center was for Avan on the trail called the Blade. There's the big bus. Stone climb. We're hopefully getting near the top. Oh, so if this goes downhill, well, it adds some gradient to it. Still kind of flat. Yes. He's so white that the GoPro's struggling. We'll see if it goes downhill. Oh, hey, so this goes flat again. Yeah, that's more like it. The left is the rock. So you have to launch off them. Hello, we've got the Heimer again, the big, the big beast. Now we're um, on the way to Suffolk when we did that one. Did a load of filming there and uh, of in here and that's the filming that I lost. So we're going to do it all again. I'm on my way down to South Wales. It's Friday after work and we're going to go and park up outside Kai Grocott pinned brand ambassadors house. And then I'm going to give you show you around this truck as I did last time but the footage was lost so we are on our way two and a half hours and we'll be in South Wales change of plan we got to Kai's and we parked up uh, knocked on the door no sign of life and it turns out he's gone out on a lash uh, which was a bit odd considering like he knew we were coming I'm guessing he just thought we'd sort ourselves out but like when we knocked on the door for a hookup which we talked about on the phone for the electric uh, it's like his mum didn't even know we were coming and we were gonna park there for the night and I wasn't sure about it. Just like, it's a bit too, it's like running a cable from here across the pavement and then up to a house and there's several people walking about and I wasn't into that. So, just literally Googled what's about to stay at and because we, I don't know where I am around here and up over this mental mountain where it was like full on driving rain and wind and we've ended up getting over the top and we are i've only realized now we're here the old chaps opened up this site and it's where the original trail center was for avan where the blade comes down the trail called the blade and fair play to him you know it's like 10 o'clock ish he let he unlocked the gates for us let us in we're in the car park tonight and we're going to move over to the other side and get our hook up on the go for tomorrow um, so that's it, it's changed. We are going to ride round here. I'll go out with Todd and Daniel. We'll do the trail center tomorrow, and then the day after that, we'll go searching for off piste. Maybe I'll put a post out and see who can show us around. I've got to show you um, there's a dog bed that was left in the back of here, so we put it in the back, and it would seem especially red. The dogs like it. Let me just show you. So, time to get cosy in the motorhome and get a good night's sleep. Good morning. So, let's have a look where we are. Last night, it absolutely hammered down all night. There's the big bus.
Hello. We have moved the truck. We have hook up. They've been very kind to let us uh, keep it kind of in the car park. But then we got a lead going in there. And under here too, we also didn't mention, there's a bike shop as well. So they got everything they need. Cafe, bike shop, camping. And there is pictures. And I'll put a link in the description to their website as well so you can check them out. As the lads are getting the bikes out and building them up, we've got a few things to show you. Firstly, we've got the new sponsorship from Melon with the glasses. So I got these ones, which are awesome. They've got like a clear lens and Todd's got some I'll show you later on. And if you watch one of the last videos, you'll see we got given these white trousers. And after the wash, <laughs> they were both like gray. And obviously you, you should bleach them or just use them in a warm country. So instead of doing that, Todd did this. You idiot. I've got the back to so. Basically drew them, put it on social media, what should I draw? He got all these things and did them himself. Then I got the spray cans out and camoed mine. What else have we got that's new? Oh, yeah, and the bikes have gone in here and all stripped and sort of laid down. And uh, yeah, we should have taken Todd's mug guard off. <laughs> it's come out like that. Our own fault, it's all warped. Uh, put it in a warm room or some hot water it'll go back to its shape but uh, i think we'll have to take that off today so we bought the trail bikes up for this weekend i am on the habit xl todd is on his habit medium that lovely color and there's his glasses he's gone Hello. for the cool, cool shade lenses it's gonna be too dark when you go in the woods and so here's daniel son who is on his stantonian and um, today I think we're going to do blade track and then tomorrow white, what's it called? White something? White something, we'll tell you tomorrow but that'll be a different vlog so let's get out on the trail See you in a bit mate Ta -da. So this is the walk that Catty and Purdy are going to do all around these ponds today This place obviously is famous for these ponds Oh, it's a lovely river. Really nice area, actually. We're into this big stone climb that's sort of meandering up the hillside. That's the first thing. Apparently, this trail's 36k, so as we've only got the trail bikes, not the e-bikes, this might be the only trail we do this weekend, we'll see. See how we feel. So we've come up this hill here, zigzagged, fair old climb from the start. And right down there, I'll see if we can zoom in. I'm pointing the right place. There's the motorhome. And we are heading up that way. Oh, that was a big up. Sign saying dastardly and muttly. So I reckon, as this is named, it will oh, won't go downhill. It's a climb called Dusty and Muttley. Hmm. Hoping that first climb is done because it was a big old beast of a climb. And we're kind of meandering in the woods on the flat now. I'm guessing, and I'm hoping we're making our way over to the first downhill. A bit more sort of single tracky now. We're hopefully getting near the top. Um, Oh, well, we might as well go black. Yeah, yeah man. So it's a downhill now. Okay. Hopefully. Unless it's a black climb. <laughs> okay. Climb. What's the order? Let's do it then. I'll just take over that, innit? Where does it go? Here? Here. I think I might have raced on this. I hope I'm going the right way. I not really look then. So a couple of things I've noticed today. One is this is the first ride with race jeans on as opposed to shorts. 
on a regular bike, not an e-bike. And I can tell you now, these are going to just be reserved for e-biking and winter regular bike. Because my legs feel like I've got sleeping bags on them. Really hot. It might have something to do with the fact I've sprayed them with car spray. And it's, uh, yeah, covered all the pores up. That was like seriously flat and I thought we'd missed a turn. So we're going in here and we've got a black run. Oh, so if this goes downhill, something's got to go downhill. Hello, what's happening in here? Lots of boards and uh, all boards. Don't mind a bit of boardwalk. Rather, it adds some gradient to it. Oh, 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 are we going to go downhill? Are we going to have some gradient finally? No. Still kind of flat. Come on. Come on. Oh. Yes. We may have... Have we got anything on the lens now? Got more of that X clear stuff on today. I'm gonna wait for the boys. Okay. Please, please be gravity based. That's more like it. Now then. I may have raced this again, said that before, pretty sure I have, but you know, I've got the cheapest of memory. Still no Olin's on the back of this and Todd's dying to get that coil on it. Feels very bouncy at the moment. That's quite a nice turn. Not sure about this being a black run though. I think the Atherton Red run's gnarlier than this. Oh, here we go. A bit more like it. Yes! Oh, where am I going? Oh, that's like a line through the middle like, over a load of rocks. Yeah, I like that bit. And that's the end of that one. Yeah, it was alright at the end. Yeah. I like the last bit on the rocks. Yeah. Look at that down, Neil Daniel. It was all right. It was not that good until the end. Yeah. Todd, why have you got your top off? Because I don't have much drink and I'm trying to stay cool so I don't have to drink as much. You're so white that the GoPro's struggling to... <laughs> ...and with your white trousers. So is that your uphill mode to cool down? Oh, this one, yeah. Come on, let's go. Okay, so we got to this sign, which is W2 and White's level left up there. And then there's a sign up there that says it's uh, a blade and everything. Um, and coming back this way, blade. So do we go up there or do we look up there and it goes in like a figure of eight and comes back round here? I think we got there. So the lads have just looked at trail forks. I don't think it is off here. I think it is back there that, that bit we saw. Let's see. Just hope we're not missing a load of trail out. F of whites level, whites straight on for blade. They have a weird habit on the trails around here of naming them, but not like if you go to a lot of trails in North Wales, they just name the downhills. So we're on one called Twister now, but it's just flat. So it's named, I guess, the section 
from the start of when you go through a gate rather than the actual downhill stage do you want to lead this bit yeah we'll see if it goes downhill give it some beans if it does i hope it does, yeah, I hope it does. Oh hey, this guy's flat again. Does this one go down? It's just another K or so of flat. Whoa, Rog! How about a scouter? Drop your saddle. Finally, we may have some gravatoire. Okay, boys? His helter scout are going to offer some gravity. Let's see. Looks like it. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, lovely. Oh, that's a weird berm. Quite slippy on this. Weird, it's like rock, obviously, but in places it's like some bits are gritty and grippy, and then you get the odd bit that's super slick. And then it's like mega grippy when it's dry. But with all that rain last night, there's no chance of it being dry. If you can see it, GoPro to GoPro, on this GoPro here is a drip that's been sat here for five minutes. So that will be the last time I'll be mentioning X-Clear because as far as I'm concerned, it has one job, keeping water off a lens. If it doesn't do that, what's its point? Oh, it's a lot deeper. Got it, I missed that. So Daniel decided to do a Strava line right over the bars. It's stuck. <laughs> That was amazing. Go on, Daniel, for that I'm going to let you lead. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's go. Here's he going to try and show off to the camera. Catch him up. We got berms. And we got a bit of gravity. Oh, where are we going? Who knows? Tracks everywhere. Well, two. It's like as soon as you get going, it stops and you've got to go through a gate, isn't it? Here we have something called Bobby's Helmet. Do you like to look at Bobby's Helmet, Todd? <laughs> <laughs> Might as well leave a mark on this bit. Do it nice, nice and straight. Mark on Bobby's helmet. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. Chase him down. How long is this downhill? Wow. Yeah, it really was like 15 seconds. Right, we've had snack break. It's getting like a bit of a joke now. Is it going to be a downhill or is it just going to go back up the hill? It's like as soon as you get going. That's what I love about this trail bike is that you can just pull up on the, all these little drops, little mounds, and just get a little bit of air because it's so light. Well, we're rolling, boys. How are we getting wet? Oh, we're going back up hill again. Oh, look, downhill. Woo! Open the taps, boys. Come on. Ah, 
that's more like it, isn't it? Yeah. Good fun, that one. Oh, I've got to wipe the camera. Can I do it? No. Yes. <laughs> Super driver line there. <laughs> See him catch him. Daniel's about 50 metres in front of Todd. And Todd's going to see if he can catch him up. I'll tell you what, Daniel's going a lot better now, dude. Todd's going to have to push hard. Oh, jumpy, jumpy! He waited for you so it doesn't count. <laughs> Dan's going off pace. Groovy golly. Here's Groovy Gully DH. Come on in boys, I'll lead the way. Ready? Yeah. Hooray! Up oh, there. Oh! Oh, I can see down to my left. I think that's kind of the area where we started. Okay, so right is Skyland, left is the rock. This may be a super long one I did when I raced here. I'm not sure. Could be wrong. I have been known to be wrong, amazingly. But if it is, I'm going to try and put a decent run in all the way down. You up for that, boys? Yeah. Keep crack a lacking. Yeah. A, if it is the one, there's a few like, they look like little fly offs. Just hit them and you, it's, they're okay. okay. They're just like drops. Okay, let's do it. Well, this is a lot more fun on this than when I last raced here in the hardtail category. If it is this one, still don't really know. But when I did that, oh my God, I felt like someone was beating my legs up. Definitely a lot more comfortable. What the hell was that? What was that noise? What noise? I got the shit in my eye. That was really weird. I heard a really weird noise. I got... It sounded like a ship, you know, like a ship's. Yeah. That was dead weird. You oh. haven't got the bumper in your back, have you? Yeah, I wonder. Ah, I bet the bumper went off. God, that was weird. It freaked me out. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, peddly, peddly. <sighs> oh, I don't have the energy to sprint stuff like this anymore. Yeah, it is. Oh, I miss that. It's the, uh, the pump -a pump setting itself off in the pocket. Never oh, mind. You can go off if it wants. Because my legs are wet, these trousers are halfway down my arse right now. So when I 
space here I got in the British Enduro in the hardtail category I actually won I won the day, I think I was second on this stage it was the last one of the day and I was bloody ruined that's right and it just carries on down here I think it went down there Oh, I don't know. Yeah, this down here. Wait for these boys. Nice one, bro. I knew. I knew he had to over the bars where I stopped. There's <laughs> quite a few wrong lines down there. I slowed down pretty much just stopped before my trousers are. Yeah, mine are down by my arse. And then it went. It got a bit steeper, and I tried to get on and missed the bars. I went like that. Had a stop. We both pulled our trousers up. I've got the no mud guard like with Daniel. Oh yeah, what's your face like with no mud guard? Let's have a close look, get your face close to there. And Daniel's. Wow. And then yours is like you've got a little spot right on the end of your nose. Come on, come yeah. on then. I'm going to follow you boys down here. Okay. Who's going first? Go on. Again. No heroics. Just enjoy. Always say that, don't I? Go on, lads. I think there's a big slab down here. Todd, you can just go straight off it and just pull up a little bit. Daniel getting out of shape. Oh, you nearly had me off then. So I have to launch off them. How's your hands? You got a hand pump or not? Yeah, not too bad. Just keep it like on the odd flat bit, just try and relax them for a sec. That's it, nice. I think that was the slab I meant. Yeah. Just straight line it. Going well, mate. You're going, both of you are going really well. Oh, hi! Well done, boys. Yeah, and the end was literally here. And that's it. Sure, that's not 36k. I reckon we missed a chunk out at the beginning. Here we are, back at where we started off on that horrible climb at the beginning. It's been uh, it's been very good actually. I mean, I know we moaned a bit about lack of downhills at the beginning, but it definitely made up for it as we got sort of halfway round. Some of them downhills, especially that last one, was amazing. That's a real grueler. Um, give us your comments about what you think about this place and where you'd have ridden. Would you have done the other one, white, whatever it's called, forgotten again? We're going to go back to the centre now where they have got some jet washes, clean the bikes and see if we have the energy to do another ride tomorrow. We should do really. Don't forget to check out the description for our website, any of our affiliate links where you can do um, get some of our stuff that we buy at a cheaper rate. Hello. Oh, ignorant. And check out the sponsors and their websites. Thank you very much for watching this vlog.
keep it pinned. <laughs> 